Hey guys, good morning. It's Mike Chan just arrived in Sacramento, California, and I am here for a meal that's been, I think, about four months in the making. There's a one Michelin star restaurant here called The Kitchen, and this place has an incredible concept where the chefs welcome you into the kitchen to either cook with them or plate with them or taste whatever they're cooking whenever you want it. And the best part, it's all you can eat. Yeah, an all you can eat one Michelin star restaurant that is absolutely mind blowing. So I made my reservation four months ago for today. I think this is gonna be such an amazing meal. Also, I just wanna give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is still to this day one of the only apps I keep running on my phone 24 seven. And if you are not utilizing a VPN service right now to protect your digital information, I highly suggest that you do. There's so many benefits in having a VPN service because as we all know, so much of our private information is now online and there's people trying to gain access to that every single day. You got data there are aggregators who are trying to collect your personal information to sell to marketing companies, or there's people trying to gain access to things like your email. And what a VPN is, is a virtual private network. And what Surfshark VPN does is that it encrypts and secures your personal information before it goes over the internet. So people who you really don't want having access to your private information, they're not gonna have access to it. Also, if someone is trying to gain access to something like your email, Surfshark has Surfshark alerts, so you will be notified right away. Also, when you're out and about, like at cafes, airports, hotels, more likely than not, you're gonna be connected to your local Wi-Fi hotspot, and these are in no way secure and a great opportunity for people to gain access to your private information. That's why I keep Surfshark VPN running all the time. It's so fast, it just runs in the background. I don't even notice it, but it gives me peace of mind for less than a cup of coffee a day. Also, it's especially useful when you're traveling abroad and you wanna still have full functional access to US websites or US streaming services so you don't miss your favorite TV shows or movies. You can actually use Surfshark VPN to change your location back to the US. So when I'm traveling abroad and I'm trying to pay my bills, I use Surfshark VPN for that. So if you want to give it a try, go to my link down below. Use my promo code dumpling and you'll get three extra months for free. All right, I got to prepare myself, hit the gym, and then this is going to be one heck of a dinner. So just got inside and it's really tight seating and most of the people dining here are facing the open kitchen where you can watch the chefs prepare the entire meal and they came over and described the experience so what's going to happen is that essentially there's no rules you can taste whatever you want to taste you can help them cook there's hors d'oeuvres all around the kitchen which you are free to walk around and enjoy and there's chefs already prepping dinner and this is going to be a 10 course meal but the experience starts right now First bite, smoked salmon on a rice cracker. Ooh, there's so much food around here. I'm like completely overwhelmed. And you can walk into the kitchen pretty much anywhere you want. I'm in the kitchen right now. I feel the heat from the stove. And people are just walking all around. The chef's just introducing the food that's around you. Next is a savory cream puff. It's a sun choke cream puff. Oh, that's like a savory little cloud with nuts. That's so good. And this yeah. is me, Tartar. Yeah, Thank you so much. No worries. Mm, it's so good. I like that touch of heat at the end. Yeah. Mushroom tart. I see everybody grabbing this, like multiple ones of these. Wow. Like it, right? Great job. And that truffle flavor is fantastic. Yeah. I see now why everyone's grabbing multiple ones of these. That's so good. And no food allergies? No, no, none at all. So this is the poke. Why not eat tuna poke? Mm -hmm. A little bit of California tangerine we're getting out from Newcastle. Cilantro and uh, wajillo peanuts also. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is amazing. This is not your typical poke. This is like extravagant. Oh my God, that poke is good. So there's oysters in the back. And again, like anywhere you want to go, you can go in this restaurant. There's the oysters. Oh, thank you so much. Look at that oyster. Mm, wow. Oh, that's fresh. Last thing I haven't tried, this is a vegetarian spring roll. And they say to eat this as a palate cleanser after all the food is done. Wow, really herby and refreshing. Oh, that wrapper's so mochious too. Yeah, that's definitely a palate cleanser. Had to go back for seconds. Got some beef tartare. I don't like beef tartare, and I love this. Mm. And of course, had to get another mushroom tart. <laughs> I missed the tuna tartare wrapped in shiso leaf. 
Mm. There's a lot of heat. I think my favorite thing might just be the beef tartare. And also, mushroom tart and the, both of the tuna tartars. Incredible. And after coming back to the table from the whirlwind hors d'oeuvres tour, there's fried arancini balls and homemade dill potato chips. I feel like so many times I've taken I've taken a bite at this place, and the flavor just intensifies as you chew. Same thing with these things; just the most beautiful little crunch on the outside. Mm, inside, a melty little risotto. I said this before; I love dill, dill potato chips. Incredible. And this is before dinner's even getting started. Dish number one, Phoenix Tail Dumpling. It's shiitake mushrooms, ginger taro, and exo sauce, and the dumpling is deep fried. A plus on the dumpling. Tastes like a very luxurious dim sum item. Very crispy and airy, really soft and creamy inside. From the taro? Mm, wow, the inside is so creamy and rich. It's like extreme velvety with just the most amazing crunch on the outside. And you're gonna 100% taste the ginger. That's phenomenal, I need another one of those. And that's the beautiful thing about this place. You can get as much food as you want. So if I want another dumpling, just gotta go get another dumpling. And before that, the amuse bouche just came to the table. This is a mushroom with Parmesan foam on top. Mm. Wow. That thing reminds me of a savory, very rich cheese foam bubble tea. tonight. In fact, I am encouraging you guys. You are not stuck in your green velvety thrones, all right? I want you to get up. I want you to walk around. You can come back here. You can help us cook. Light crap on fire. We're heavily insured. There. How about that, all right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Unlike other Michelin star experiences, I actually plan on feeding you guys tonight. Yeah. Yeah. This is the funnest Michelin restaurant ever. This might be the funnest restaurant ever. Fred just came to the table. I know this is probably not the best thing to do, where there's so much food here, but it's fresh bread. It is awesome fresh bread. So this is seared sea scallops, lime leaf, ginger, blood orange, sitting in a cauliflower sauce. This is beyond amazing. I mean, I'm guilty of searing scallops on both sides, but just searing on one side, it is the most succulent scallop you might ever put in your mouth. The blood orange brings a nice bit of juice and sweetness. You definitely taste the ginger, which just adds to the depth of this dish. The sauce made with cauliflower, it's so light, adding a savory umami to this dish. This is absolutely mind-blowingly delicious. I'm gonna wear some more of this. I asked for five more scallops. Not on the stick, I, I wanted the sauce because that cauliflower sauce is just, mwah. Oh, so amazing. I feel like this must be what food heaven is like. And the beautiful thing is, this is just course two. So I'm trying some of the chanterelle mushrooms before it goes into a dish. Oh, that's really nice and buttery. This next dish is Dungeness Crab Bouillabaisse Blanc. So it's poached fruits of the sea, which is these little mussels wrapped inside extremely crispy phyllo dough. And the shell is practically see-through. 
savory, extremely crispy. You taste the sweetness of the Dungeness crab. The mussels are beautifully savory. The whole thing is wrapped up like a present. When you bite into it, it tastes like Christmas morning. This is intermission. Valley Pearl Oysters from Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia. On the left here, Black Cost Ceviche with Asian Pears Ginger Passion Fruit. Other bowl, Hawaiian Ahi Tuna with Mandarin Citrus. Looks like a giant plate of Sifu smiling face. Oh, that is a delicate, sweet oyster. Zero, and I mean zero fishiness. And that's what I really look for when it comes to oysters. This is the Asian pear cod ceviche. Looks like a little peppercorn on top with strands of chili. It's nice and fruity. A little gingery, and the fish is just so succulent. And that goes perfectly with the crispy pear. So this is their homemade taro chips. Dunk it into the ahi. That's my favorite. I already know I love that tuna. Mix that with some paper thin crunchy taro chips. I've been to a lot of intermissions in my life. None as good as this. Food intermissions are the best intermissions. I was just walking around, they give me the biggest macaroni I've ever seen. <laughs> oh yeah. This is also coming up later. Before the next dish comes out, how to get another scallop bouquet. Five more scallops. I'll never get sick of eating this. That is absolutely perfect. The start of act two is sweet potato cannelloni with brown butter sabriam, yellow chanterelle mushrooms, white wild pecan, and purple mazuna, which is basically Japanese mustard greens. This is some next level magical pasta. Mmm, creamy sweet potato wrapped inside the most perfectly made al dente pasta outside. Crispy pecans. The sauce is rich and buttery and creamy. The mushroom brings that earthiness. Mm, oh, that was just blow your mind. Apparently, if you just stand near where they're cutting, they just keep offering pieces of steak. Look at how juicy this is. Let me talk about more later when I have the plate in front of me. Next dish I'm so excited for. This is roast beef tenderloin with ash roasted mentis carrot, peregrine truffle, and port based cabbage. Unbelievable. My heart is fluttering. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This and the scallops will send shivers down your spine. Yeah, seconds, third, maybe fourths on this one. The beef, I mean, I've had a couple pieces before this and I knew how tender it was. This piece melts in your mouth tenderloin and is sitting on a bed of just the most velvety, rich, smoky roasted carrots. And you get a bit of acid from the cabbage to balance out the richness. And this whole thing, from the texture of the beef to the carrots and all those flavors working together, again, to say I am in food heaven, not much of a stretch. Had to hit the repeat button on this beef. So to prep this tenderloin, they cure it for over 20 hours, then they sous vide it. So this whole process takes close to 30 hours to prep for the steak. And you can definitely taste that. Mm. Here it is, kids. 
If you're feeling a little tired, I want you to take solace in the fact that you have just rounded the final quarter. You are coming into the finish line. You are now entering the last 1,500 calories of dinner. All right, so, but it's all right. Look, it's all dessert. It's like a culinary slip and slide. This is easy. Dessert part one. This is a rum cake with chestnut butterscotch, sweet creme fraiche, and candied chestnuts. Oh, I love this so much. This thing is just soaked in rum. The cake is moist, it's rich, slightly sweet with a bit of a spicy flavor. And with every bite, that delicious rum just erupts from the cake. The chestnut butterscotch brings an additional sweetness and a nice caramelized flavor. And to give it a bit more texture, you got a really airy wafer on the side. Mm, this is very rich and satisfying. I love it. And this is just dessert number one. <laughs> All right, dessert number two. Fresh whipped cream and fresh cookies. Oh, this is so awesome. There's like more chocolate than cookies in this chocolate chip cookie. This place is all decadence, all flavor. Oh, it's actually a third plate of dessert. It's passion fruit marshmallow. Mmm. And also, salted caramel cream puff. Oh. And of course, the giant tangerine macaron. My second one today. And they give you Madeline cookies to take home. All right, let me finish everything because I still want to get some more food and uh, we'll talk about this. All right, that was an amazing experience. Got there at 6.30 and left at 10.30. Four hour experience flew by. Chef Kelly, obviously very talented, very entertaining. Everybody working there was extremely, extremely friendly and nice. And ordering more food is very much encouraged. So the closest I ever been to food heaven is probably tonight. The price for the experience is 185 per person. That's before gratuity and tax. But for a one Michelin star, all you can eat. I'm gonna say that is very, very worth it. My favorite course, obviously the scallops. I love the steak. I love the hors d'oeuvres, the oysters. I think this is one of the most exquisite, worth it food experiences I've ever been to. And obviously a lot of people feel the same because getting a reservation to this place, I think right now they're taking reservations for June or July. It's about a four month wait. This place, if you can make it out here and get a table, I highly, highly recommend doing it. It's probably the most deliciously fun experience I've ever had at a restaurant. I can't believe I just had a one Michelin star meal and it was so much fun. I never had a restaurant experience like this in my life where you can do anything, you can wander into the kitchen, interact with any of the chefs, taste anything you want, try cooking the dish or plating the dish. I think this is the only food experience like that in the world, especially for a restaurant of this caliber. So yes, highly, highly recommend. And if you do make it out here, I got one advice for you. Make sure you ask for seconds or thirds or fourths and they'll happily oblige. And as always, the information for this place is listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.